fractured here, so I figured I would do a little bit of a tutorial on how to play Stretch, as some of our members are curious on how to do that, and they don't really know how to, and the tutorials on YouTube don't seem to help too awful much. So, I'm going to do an in-depth tutorial on how to play Stretch, so without further ado, let's go. This might become a series, because I really don't feel like you guys want to sit here and just watch constantly 20-30 minutes of a tutorial. So I might just turn it into a series on how to play stretch. Like how to time your shot, how to uh, do etc etc. So I'm gonna grab this. Free for all. Okay, so I want you know, solid execution if you know out there. Shotting whatsoever, which I'm assuming most of you do. You would normally do something like I. Uh, Something probably like this. And it just doesn't work very well. See, I can't even really play normal anymore. It just doesn't work for me. So, instead of, you know, playing normal, which is what you would normally do, play stretch, which basically when you jump off, move your, uh, left thumb to your right analog stick, <coughs> the one you would move your left thumb with. And as you can see, it kind of gives you a little bit more control over your spins. You spin faster for one. It gives you more control over your spin. And it gives you more control over when you stop. And, um, there's another way to do this, uh, what I just entirely screwed up. <laughs> Sorry. There's another way to do a trick shot, which would also be playing Claw. I do not know how to play Claw, so I can't really show you how to play Claw, per se. But, um, Basically, it's just as simple as that. You just spin with your left thumb on your right analog stick after you jump. So, I'm going to show it in kind of a slower motion so you guys can see it a little bit better. I'm going to put my thing down to 10. Uh, actually, I'm going to slow it down even more. So, basically, like that. You can also spin to the left as well. And when trick shotting, you always want to have your slick sensitivity at 14. If it's not, not really a trick shot. Okay, now how you insta-swap when you're doing this, it's actually pretty simple. You hit triangle to triangle like you normally do. If I can get it to actually insta swap. This one. <sighs> but yeah, that's how you use the swap. Now, I can also show you an axe swap, which is also a useful tool. You want to shoot, hit triangle, and switch over. But do it a lot faster. When you do it right, you'll know you got it right because your gun will do that right there. It'll flip over almost as though you instantaneously summoned it out of nowhere. <laughs> so, like... Like that. That would be how you would hit a can do a cancel. And I know sometimes my thumb kind of gets stuck in this gap down here. 
But sometimes that can be to your advantage because it can kind of give you a little bit more control. But pretty much, you just spin with your left thumb and right analog stick. And it's just swapping, it does take a little bit of getting used to for a while before I actually learned how to insta swap with the, with the L2 button I was just kind of doing this which is insta swapping with whatever your lethal is which could be just about anything so yeah You can also, you cannot, the things you cannot do with stretch, you cannot do running man with stretch, it just doesn't work, because if you try to, it'll make you knife, and you won't need a running man at all. Um, there's some other things that you can't do with without pra a lot of practice, like you can do a select fire swap with stretch. But with practice, if you just try to do a select fire switch without any practice whatsoever, you're not going to hit it. Guaranteed. Unless it looks like absolute shit. But yeah, there's that. 